Hi guys, Boiler Room here. Well, today's been a pretty eventful day in the world of Destiny, Bungie, and Activision. Uh, the Activision earnings call was held earlier today, and in it they released some info on the long awaited drought. Well, not a weighted drought, but they kind of broke the drought on information that was released about Destiny and what might be coming uh, in the near and uh, maybe the mid-term future. So in their uh, earnings call, in, their, in the report they've released, Activision have said about Destiny that the Taken King expansion launched in September with record digital attach rates. Over 25 million registered users have logged nearly 3 billion hours in-game, which isn't really news to us, but here comes the big one. A large new expansion in 2016 with full game sequel expected to launch in 2017. Well, we knew about Destiny 2 coming, but obviously it's been delayed because we expected it later this year. It's now been talked about as being released in 2017, but what I think everyone has been waiting for is any kind of comment on it. A new expansion coming in this year, 2016. Following that, about oh, 10 or 15 minutes later, Deej posted an update on Bungie, and in it he says, Prior to the holiday break, we mentioned a second larger update slated for spring. That content release will feature a significant light increase, a bunch of new gear to earn and equip, and new challenges for PvE players seeking some more fun experiences and replayability. Beyond that, the team is focused on delivering a large expansion later this year, and a full Destiny sequel in 2017. As work wraps up in the weeks ahead, uh, look for more details about the spring content as well as more information about our bigger projects in the months that follow. Thanks for your patience, thanks for playing. Well, he's just confirmed what we uh, heard in the Activision earnings call only moments before that, what most people have been waiting for and a lot of people had written off. We will actually be getting a new expansion coming later in this year. A lot of people I think are saying about time, yay, yippee, finally. I've had a bit of a break from Destiny through the Taken King, and so I'm starting to catch up on, on all of that, which means, for me, the drought in content hasn't been so bad. But for most other people, it's been pretty... Oh, a pretty tough slog. A lot of people I know have uh, decided to move on from Destiny for a bit, and who can blame them? But hopefully, this news will uh, bring them back reinvigorate them and see people spending time on Destiny and hopefully we'll see players flooding back into the, uh, the gameplay. Things like Crimson Doubles, which you know has been great, uh, are good, but they're not really something you can get your teeth into. I mean, you can spend a, a bit of time playing them, but they're only around for like a week. Iron Banner, again, only around for a week and then it's only here once every six weeks or so. So, the smaller events, SRL, that was really fun, but again, only for a limited time, and then there was a bit of a gap between that and Crimson Doubles. This expansion hopefully will give us some more story missions. Will we see a new raid? Will we see a, an arena style event? What do you think we'll see? Most people, I think, are suggesting that the new content will focus on the Cabal. I, for one, would like to see some more uh, information on the Cabal. with. The Taken King, seeing uh, the, t the Cabal on the Dreadnought, we're starting to see a little bit more interaction there, not just exclusively on Mars. I think it's, I think it's going to be a good thing. I think it's good. Let's see what happens. What do you think? Anyway, see you next time, and thanks for watching.